Though the pressures of life Seems to weigh you down And you don't know Which way to turn God is concerned And is working it out For you The child that's on cocaine Through prayer he can change That marriage That's on the verge Of breaking up Although sometimes You have to walk on oh, no. Now you ask yourself Is there a word from the Lord Or 
wish I had the time to tell you a story about a man called Shelly John. But I don't have that time tonight. But you gotta realize if old John was here after going through, he'd look back at that old mule and said, Since I can't shout in your church, and since I can't dance in your church, oh, my mule, I feel like shouting right now. I come to tell somebody I feel like praising, praising him. Well, well, help me out, y'all.
and my brother was a pastor. Me and Ann here, we were the members in the church. And let me tell you something. It's hard to come in contact with Jesus and still be the same. I don't care who you are. I don't care you can be the chiefest of sinners. You will never be the same. And I've forgotten I've been going down to the church playing church. Came home still disobedient. Didn't want to wash the dishes. Didn't want to bring the clothes in off the line. Didn't want to do anything. Mama said, I'm sick of you going down to that church playing with God. Me and Ann there, we went outdoors. We started playing church. Sat down on the bottom step. My brother was a preacher. And we were the members in the church. And he put some old glasses and put them right here on his nose. And he said, I, he said, I want you to jump up and shout Jesus three times. And I jumped up and I shouted Jesus two times. But when I jumped up the third time, something got a hold of me. I couldn't sit back down. And ran in the house. She said, Mama, so Shirley is out there playing with the Lord. Mama came to the door. But she looked out there and saw me shouting and dancing all over the backyard, tears running down my face. It's just a life. Mama looked out there and she said, she ain't playing this time.
know what a miracle is. Go out to the hospital. Go to Mount Sinai. Go down on Skid Row. And look how blessed you are. A miracle is that supernatural gift that only God can give. When you look at me, you're looking at a miracle. Three years ago, one of the members in my church who, who rides along in the scooter because she couldn't walk. And I saw her in the mall. I said, I said Sister Deborah, God told me that he's going to heal you. She said, thank you, Pastor. And her mother just went on. And every Sunday she came to church, still couldn't walk. A few Sundays ago, just before we brought the message, and I got some witnesses in here tonight from Mount Calvary, I walked over to her, I said, God said he's going to heal you. She had not walked in over 10 years. She got up. Across the front of the church. Walk down the aisle. I come to life to tell you, you next in line for a miracle. I don't care what the devil is saying. You next in line right now.
because John was dancing all around the church. The deacons ran and sat him down. He jumped back up. They tried to hold his legs. His hands were gone. When they turned the hands are loose, the feet were going. It's just like fire. It's just like fire. Shut up in the bone. Yeah. They did everything they could to stop old John from shouting. And when they couldn't finally stop him, they made up in their mind, we got to go out to John's house, y'all. But something is wrong with him. Doesn't he know? We don't act like that in our church. Doesn't John know? We've got dignitaries in our church. We're going. We're going. We're going to John's house. Well, when they got out there, they found this old 86-year-old man. Him and an old beat-up mule plowing. Plowing in the field. They drove up all of the deacons. They got out of their fine cars. They walked over to John. John looked around and said, Oh, mule. Walked over to him and said, Brethren, I know why you've come out here. You've come out here to tell me that I praise the Lord too much. You've come out here to tell me that I dance too much. One of the deacons told him, If you don't stop shouting, if you don't stop dancing, Somebody say yeah, say yeah. Way to get in the tail of the market, yeah, yeah, yeah. John said to them, "Well, put me out. I can't hold my peace. Did you see all of that land you just drove up on?" He said, God gave me all that land. But you don't want me to dance in your church. He said, look at my sons and daughters. He said, God gave me all of my children. Not one time have I been to the courthouse. Not one time have I been to the cemetery. But you don't want me to dance in your church. Then he said, look at me. I'm 86 years old. I'm still a in your church. Listen, Brother Deacons, if I can't shout in your church, hold my mule. I'm going to shout right here. Shout, John. I know we got some dignified folk in here, but I come to tell you, I feel like praising, praising him.
Come on and worship Him. Get those hands up. Come on and bless Him. Come on and worship the Lord. Receive it by faith tonight. Come on and receive it by 